All right, welcome to our quick lecture on reasons why people migrate. All the slides and materials here are designed by me, and I am, of course, Ms. Small, and I'll be your host for today's lecture. <clears throat> so we'll do just start out with some quick review and some quick definitions. Push factors are the things that make people want to leave a place. So the way that I remember this is to remember that they're literally pushing people out of a place. Pull factors are the exact opposite of that. These are the things that literally pull people into a place. It's what makes them want to go one place as opposed to another one. <clears throat> and everywhere in the world, I don't care where it is, has both push and pull factors. The difference is what you got to remember is that one person's push factor is another person's pull factor. So different strokes for different folks is kind of another way of saying that same idea. So we talk about push factors again. These are the things that make you want to leave a place. They literally push you out of a place. Um, some classic examples are things like war, genocide, um, poor economic development, so a lack of jobs in an area. <clears throat> okay, if there's some kind of a sudden life change, maybe a divorce or a death, um, could make somebody want to leave a place. Uh, bad weather is always a good example, or natural disasters. These are all reasons why people might want to leave a place. Okay, and again, sometimes these there are some things that can go on that can be pull factors that are exactly the same ideas, and we'll talk about that here in just a sec. <clears throat> pull factors, again, are those things that make people choose one place over another. Okay, so um, some of the classic examples, for example, we talk about climate, right? We talked about bad weather with push factors, talk about good weather, positive climate with pull factors. So, for example, I grew up in Alaska, and a lot of people love Alaska to live up there any significant length of time. You really pretty much have to. As you get older, though, the dark and the cold get very <clears throat> can, can get very hard on you. So I know a lot of people who live in Alaska for the um, summer months, and then they fly down to the lower 48, so we call this snowbirding, say someplace like Arizona, where they live for the winter months. Okay, so it's the bad weather's pushing them out of Alaska towards the end of the summer, and the good weather's pulling them into Arizona, and then in the summer when Arizona gets too hot, now the bad weather's pushing them out, and the good weather in Alaska is pulling them in. Economic opportunity, right, so if you get a new job, that could be a reason why you choose to move one place over another. I moved to Washington State um, to go to college, for example, so that would be an educational opportunity that I took advantage of in moving. I had friends who moved to New York or uh, similar kinds of places. Um, you could be moving because you want to be close to a family or to your friends, right? So if you get married, you might move across country in order to uh, move closer, say, to your, your spouse's family. Um, and economic and political stability are also huge reasons why people might move into a place. So for example, if there's an area that's got a lot of war going on or that's got genocide or other things like that, um, that can be a real problem. And so people tend to move out of those places for the most part, and they move into places that have that stability and that um, good economic environment. So move away from areas that tend to be lower development into areas that tend to be higher development, for example. But that being said, right, remember one person's push factor, another person's pull factor, or one person's pull factor, another person's push factor, right? So if you've got somebody, for example, who's in the military going into a war zone because they're being deployed, that would be a pull factor, okay? So lots and lots of different reasons. And People move, it's complicated when you start getting into why do people move? <clears throat> because it's always going to be a combination of push and pull factors. Why choose this place instead of that place? Right. And that's where, um, that's where the human element really kind of comes in. So we've done just a very quick review talking about push factors and pull factors and a little bit about why people tend to migrate from one place to another. Um, looked really just at those general reasons. We didn't talk about any specific examples to speak of. Uh, if you've got any questions or concerns, anything like that, please feel free to bring them into class, and I will see you the next time we meet.